It's 103.5 The Fox. It's Greg Stone. I'm with uh, Chris and Rich Robinson, Birds of a Feather, uh, the acoustic tours. They pump up uh, the big Red Rock shows this summer, the 30th anniversary of Shake Your Money Maker. Uh, let me tell you, that record came when music was changing. I know you know this. Uh, you know, hair band was starting to die, uh, that hair band metal, and then the grunge scene was starting to pop. But you guys came and were such a huge breath of fresh air. Even though it was retro-sounding, we had been inundated with Poison and uh, Def Leppard. And not that those bands are bad. It's just that it was such a great time uh, to come along. I mean, it made that I mean, record did, stand I mean, out. I mean, for us, we again, uh, we we could care less about those bands or about what we, you know. Or, I mean, we laugh about being punks, but we were punks, and but we were we we had a punk rock mentality about everything. We just you know played in a different roots oriented style. So you know, I mean, our whole careers have been other people telling us what we are, but it's never really we've 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 known what we are you know what i mean from the get-go i mean there's no other way to, to deal with it or why I get involved you know what i mean i part of being an artist is is that independence you know what i mean part of being an artist is to have the in a way to have the right to not you know what i mean not care as a matter of fact if if less people <laughs> cared today we'd have a lot better music and i i feel you know i mean i think the main difference is we were defiant in the face of the systems that we were working in which again was our right and part of a tradition uh, but now it seems like everyone's just compliant in a corporate way you know you know you're, you're this southern sounded rock band that's on uh, a metal hip-hop label well, i mean i don't think we sounded very <laughs> southern particularly i thought we sounded English more. I mean, our influences were all English, really, at that time, from the Stones and the Faces. I guess knowing that you were from Georgia probably yeah, yeah. skewed my thought. No, but I mean, if you think of, if you listen to that record, there's very little hints at Southern rock music if you think about, you know, Skinner or the Almond or the Almond, Almond, Almond Runs. Even though, yeah, you know what I mean. <coughs> there's not a lot of Marshall Tucker Band whipping through there. No. <laughs> Although I love the Marshall Tucker Band. So four huge hits off that, you know. You know, you sold millions of copies of Shake Your Money Maker. It's the 30th anniversary. As a matter of fact, uh, the release anniversary was last month, yeah, yeah. early February. Yeah, crazy. Uh, so you're sitting here, you're promoting these shows, the big tour coming up this summer. I mean, you know, you got to be sitting in, in awe of, of the whole experience, you know, especially with, you know, the the relationship that you two have had over the years, the very public um relationship that you know whether you wanted it out there or not uh, to have you guys come back well, we and, definitely weren't <laughs> clever enough not to have it out there <laughs> and, and do these songs for everybody it's pretty incredible it's one of the greatest debut records of all time oh killer yeah i mean you just you know we we did you don't know i mean i think we went about everything with the attitude of you know go 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 full bore because what are the chances that we'll get a second shot at it you know what i mean i mean the reality was like wow this is probably the only record we'll ever get to make this is the only tour you know what i mean the 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 idea of 30 years in the music business i mean i'm we're so lucky to have we're so lucky to have had the you know without the pressure and all the stuff <laughs> and, and if everything if nothing had happened rich and i would be you know working at the uh, you know dry cleaners or something you know and, robinson dry cleaners you know what i mean so all you know all of it is the way it was supposed to be played out to get us to where we are today good bad ugly pretty indifferent whatever you know what i mean well, that's the way the cosmic wheel turns you know i heard a previous interview on this uh birds of a feather tour where you were guys were talking about the realization of of family being more important I mean, and when did that hit you? I mean, I think it's, we've always known it. Yeah. I mean, I just think that when you have kids and your kids don't know your, their uncle, you know what I mean? When they, or their cousins. Or their or cousins, or, you know, and they're like, oh, yeah, we have, uh, we have more family than this, <laughs> you know. Um, I mean, they're too old. They're too, our kids are too old to just be, you know, my kids want to know what's up, why, why. Why do you and Uncle Rich hate each other? What, why? What? You know what I mean? My ten-year-old will has asked me that. What's the deal with my with my Uncle Rich? Why do you guys not get along? Why haven't I met my grandmother? You know what I mean? All oh. sorts of stuff. You know what I mean? And it's like, 
you know, you get to a certain point. Again, for Rich and I to come do this, I get I get the cynicism about reunions and, you know, they're just doing it for the money. Of course we're doing it for the money. Uh, every band gets up there and does it for the money. But the reality is Rich and I couldn't come sing these songs and we couldn't put this presentation together if that was the only thing. Like, what, are we going to show up to the gigs in separate, you know, cars mm-hmm. or whatever and not, you know, we're family. We, we you know, our dynamic has been this way since we were, you know, since he was born and I was there first. <laughs> and you're like, what's he doing here? <laughs> but you know what I mean? So that's a lot of stuff to traverse. And uh, and um, and I think Rich is the same as me, you know, the la- getting a, you know, leaving the band behind, you know, 2013, I don't really even consider a, a, a Black Crow's proper year. But 2010 is when we really kind of dropped it, dropped the ball. And, you know, he had to go through his trajectory to get here. I had to go through mine. We had to learn a lot, make a lot of great music with other people and, you know, have our joys and take our lumps to be able to, you know, have the pers- the perspective, you know, f- took a long time. I'm stubborn, too, you know, and uh, to say, dude, sorry. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. I wanted to I wanted to hurt your feelings. You know what I mean? We weren't when you don't communicate in any relationship, it turns into into what Rich and I's ultimately our, our relationship dissolved into. And when you have entities around you that can, you know, it's it, <coughs> divide and conquer is, <coughs> is a real thing. You know what I mean? So Rich, would you say that your relationship with your brother is stronger than it ever has been? Um, yeah, you know, we're, we've approached it knowing that, you know, you clear that wound out, you get away from it, life comes back in, there's air, and you don't have this, you know, we kind of took charge of it again, instead of people manipulating and bringing their own agendas to what we were doing. And so for us to step into this, you know, we got offered tours every year, you know, big money every year, and we didn't take it. We weren't ready. And because it was really, you know, contingent upon us getting along and doing our thing and and doing it properly, you know. Um, And so, of course, yeah, I mean, I think for the first time we're actually – having conversations and um looking at compromising each other, you know compromising what I mean? like and to looking be able to say okay other. what do yeah. you want to do you know yeah exactly when so. you're when you start you don't have any time for that dynamic Every, i mean you're just hanging on and trying to survive there's a cellular <laughs> competition you know going on rich and chris robinson record new black crows new songs in the works you guys we constantly write you know we're, we're constantly writing so there's a chance right now that we're just focused on this, you know, to try to. What an incredible day of rock the 30th of August is in this town. It's crazy. You know, we talked about how you guys were a breath, uh, a breath of fresh air coming in during the whole hair metal scene. Well, Def Leppard, Motley Crue, Poison, and Joe Jett are all playing that same day. The Doobie Brothers are playing that same day. And then we got you guys up at the world's greatest <coughs> amphitheater up at Red Rocks and, that and, same day. And we're so. still the only, like, real rock and roll band out of all the stuff you just did. <laughs> See? <laughs> so spend your money with the Black Sorry. I mean, you know, like that's heavy metal and hair music. Doobie Brothers, I mean, that's they're cool. <laughs> we're the like, we're a rock and roll band. You know what I mean? So we're excited, man. Shake your money maker, definitely. Uh, it's still. Um, you and know, compared uh, to all those other bands, we're the youngest ones playing. That you're day. still the youngest. <laughs> Amazing. Still, you know, Shake Your Money Maker is on my uh, playlist. Uh, you know, never, you know, turn it down. Always. Have that in rotation too Killer. at parties, and you know everybody still loves it. And that those shows up at Red Rocks are going to be monumental. I hope you videotape, and that'd be cool if you guys uh, release the DVD. Always, always, always super excited to get to Red Rocks. You know what, what I mean? It's just one man. of those, just one of those places that is. Um, if you're lucky enough to get up there, you know what I mean. Like so, to for that first show to sell out in like a couple of hours was, you know, that means. I mean, we're the whole thing, the excitement around it, and the tickets and everything it's just yeah it's it's really uh it's really special it makes us feel really good let's give away a pair all right i'll take call number 10 and i'll set you up 
303-631-2FOX, 303-631-2FOX. Guys, thanks so much for spending time with the Fox this afternoon. And uh, uh, tonight at Ophelia's is going to be great. And then those two shows this summer at Red Rocks, I'm so glad you're doing two because I get to... I get to make one of them. I had. I'm going Doobie Brothers? Yeah, the Doobie Brothers, yeah. <laughs> Chris and Rich Robinson, the Black Crows on 1035, the Fox. Thanks, guys. Right on, man.